this program has been downloaded so many times I decided to make a short instructional video. It basically solves the five layered elastic system and uh, the loads are uh, circular. There are two different circular loads applied at the surface of the top of the layer system and the results are given for a point of interest identified by the coordinate here. The solution is given in this table. You have the stresses at the point of interest, the strain and the displacement. So the first uh, part is to input the system composition. We have five layers. The modulus of each layer is inserted here. The units I'm using are megapascals. The Poisson's ratios of each layer and then the thicknesses in millimeters are inserted here. The last layer, layer number five, is uh, semi-infinite. The loaded zones, there are two loaded zones. They could be different. The stress and radius of each, the stress and radius of each are inserted. Then the coordinates where the centers are are defined arbitrarily relative to some arbitrary uh, coordinate origin. The evaluation point is identified by coordinates x, y, and z relative to the uh, loaded areas or the location of the loads. If you would like to evaluate a point at the surface, then the coordinate z is zero. If you would like to evaluate a point at the bottom of layer number one, 240 millimeters in this case, if we would like to evaluate the point at the top of layer number two, then we just add a small increment. The stresses here are given in, in megapascals. Here's the stress in the x direction, y direction, z direction, and here are the shear stresses. The strains are multiplied by a million and therefore given in microstrains. These are the strains in x, y, and z directions, and then the shear stress strains and the displacements in millimeters in, in the direction x, y, and z. The point of evaluation is uh, automatically identifying the, the layer in which it is residing. There are two points to consider here. If we would like to evaluate a, a system with a single load, then it's best to annul the stress of one of the points and not annul the, the radius. And uh, the second point is that if we would like to evaluate a system composed of less than five layers, for example, four layers, then by simply using the exact same Poisson's ratio and modulus for two adjacent adjoining layers, then we are effectively uh, removing a layer from the interpretation because of the full bond condition. More instruction videos would follow to show how to take control over the code and uh, generate more uh, flexibility to the user.